Wallace out at the grocery store bagging up your groceries, trying to create some awareness here about the fundraiser. We've been telling you about this on the air here every morning on the Fox 31 Morning News. And today we are learning how it has paid off, all thanks to you. Now yeah, we're going to find out just how much money we raised to support Shield 616 and COPS, and it's all thanks to the help we got from you, the viewers, every time you donated at a Safeway store. Of course, Chris Staff here from Safeway. The numbers hot off the press. You guys ready? Drum roll. Drum roll. Yes. $442,000 in change. That That's is awesome. incredible. So thank you all. And Chris, it sounds like we had a big surge at the end there. We did. You know, Saturday we had our highest level of donations, about $16,000 through the check stands wow. across Colorado. So our customers really, really stepped up. Very generous. And what a great day. Well, and on top of those fundraising efforts, anytime you bought a package of Oreo or Smart Water, those companies also giving 10 cents of each purchase. And those numbers, pretty impressive as well. What do we have there? Yeah, it looks like 93,000 packages of Oreo sold and 17,000 bottles of Smart Water, all to support the Shield. I think that says a lot, not only about Safeway. First of all, let's thank Safeway. You remember we started this campaign with that $10,000 check from the Safeway Foundation. But what this says about our customers, your customers here in Colorado. Yeah. You know, the customers have been very, very generous. And I think people wanted to step up. They wanted to help. And what a great way. It was easy right at the check stand. I mean, Drew, you even went through the check stand right. with us. Absolutely. Um, to sweeten the deal with Oreos. I mean, almost 100,000 packages of Oreos. That's awesome. So incredible campaign. It, what have the personal stories that have emerged from this campaign? I know people have talked to some of the cashiers at the checkout line. You guys right. are doing such a great thing. What a testament to our community, the you people know, that live here. What was really cool is it was the soccer mom in Castle Rock that donated $100. Or uh -huh. I got an email from a lady from our store at 20th in Washington that said, I don't have a lot, but I gave you what I could. It's important for us to support the men and women who protect us every day. So. Great response. And uh, you're seeing pictures right there from the Safeway in Fort Collins. I thought a really cool part of this program was if you donated to the store in Fort Collins, it went straight to the law enforcement there mm -hmm. in Fort Collins. I thought that was an important keep it local. part of the program. And, and it, the, these law enforcement officers are so incredibly thankful. You know, it's $1,200 yeah. for each of these uh, protective gear kits yep. for each officer. And when we had that best presentation a couple Saturdays ago, they were so appreciative that they felt so supported by the community that they serve and protect. And I know they've per personally thanked you as well. Oh, it's been incredible. I mean, our store directors really got into this. We had events at our stores locally where they kind of got local law enforcement involved and just raised additional funds and really rallied. And so I, some of these pictures that we're seeing are just, I mean, it was truly the community coming together to support, I mean, just an amazing cause. Are you surprised that we raised this much? You know, I can tell you it's probably one of the best fundraisers we've had in our stores in the past five to eight years. So. Wow. Um, just shows you that, you know, there was really a need out there, and, and the support was great. So once again, $442,000 and change for this Support the Shield. Thank you, Chris. Thank yes, you to thank Safeway you, for course. everything that you guys did. We and thank you to the you. viewers. Absolutely. A great fundraiser. Greg, how do you like that? $440,000. Oh, unbelievable. You know, I heard an update. Uh